Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap epicenter and Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show, bringing the best press release out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments Monday, July the 18th. Uh, typically, it would be a slow news cycle day. I've only got two press releases for you, but i got to tell you, a big amount of concern going on right now with the U.S. debt ceiling talks. Gold has broken through $1,600 an ounce this morning. Not a surprise. Look for silver to follow shortly uh, if this problem continues. I'm a little bit concerned about it. i got to tell you the truth. I wish I'd just get this over with. There's too much uncertainty in the entire plan as is already. Uh, we don't need this to add to the issues. So be careful your portfolios. Keep your stop losses tight. Uh, two stories that start you off first with Carpathian Gold. Trades on the big board TSX on the stock symbol CPN. Nice news here. They announced a $20 million strategic, that's what they call it, private placement by Barrick Gold. you got to love that. Uh, Barrick is going to buy about 38.4 million shares at a price of $0.52 cents per share. If you're wondering, they close on Friday at $0.58. Cents. The company says they're simply going to use the money for ongoing exploration and development work on their wholly owned Rovina Valley project in Romania. A little bit about the company. Uh, in addition to this Ravina Valley project, uh, what else they have going is they're developing a near-term gold production on their 100% owned Riacho dos Machados gold project. Let's call it the gold project in Brazil. So that may be what's really enticing Barrick here. They want to be a part of that. On a company-wide basis, nice numbers here. Uh, the company currently hosts uh, 4311 resources of 4.0 million ounces of gold in the measured plus indicated categories, 4.5 million ounces of gold in the inferred category, as well as uh, about 760 million pounds of copper in the measured plus indicated, and 660 plus million pounds of copper in the inferred category. They got a lot going on here. Uh, closed Friday, 58 cents, 77 on the high, 28 on the low. Let me take a look at what's going on today. Carpathia is up 4 cents on a million shares, so they're up 7%. This morning, on over a million shares already, and we just started trading. Uh, mark cap, $225 million plus 7%. So you can add another, that's about $240 million now. 52 week high at 77 cents. So they are getting up there. They've had a tight path. But uh, I got to admit, when you see Barrett Gold invest a bunch of money uh, at 52 cents, the due diligence has got to be better than anything you or I could do. So it's not a bad idea to follow on. Mind you, you're going to be paying 20% more right now, uh, but definitely worth considering. Next up, Molly Mines also trades on the big board TSX under MOL, and for friends in Australia, MOL there as well. They're announcing their, their uh, highlights of the quarterly activities and the quarterly cash flow. So look at some, some of the highlights I picked out that I like. Uh, they completed a $494 million finance debt facility with China Development Bank. Got to like that. Uh, or tons mine, $277,000. they are up 44%. Or tons shipped. Uh, that's uh, 214,000. up 59%. Remember, these are for the quarter. Gross sales, 28.5 million. Net sales, 23.1 million. And they said they had a record shipment in July of 88,000 tons. Doing well on all fronts. They do have a 250 million dollar mark cap. Closed at 65 cents on Friday. Listen to this: 50 cents on the 52-week low, a dollar 77 on the high. So definitely near the bottom end there. They're up three cents today, right now, as of the first few minutes of trading. Uh, 350,000 shares up 4.6 percent. So if you're looking at the 52-week trading range and these numbers, seems like a pretty good risk reward. Be careful, especially with everything going on around the world. I get the feeling that's holding back buyers uh, significantly. That's a wrap. As always, quality over quantity. I don't have any news from you out of the U.S. or out of China. Uh, so the minerals and resources guys dominate again today. If you look for more great small cap resource companies, you can watch this on Global Investor. It look below me or to the left of me depending on the page you're on, to take a look at companies we've covered over the past few days. Otherwise, if you're not on the front page of Agoracom, get there, watch the show, take a look at the best headlines to my right, and get into our marketplace to discover your next great small cap stock. That's a wrap. Have an amazing day. Watch the U.S. debt ceiling debate. Talk to you tomorrow.